Hey guys, Jude with Team Voodoo Adventures. I'm here today at Basin Taxidermy with Mr. John. What he's gonna do for us today is something every deer hunter that goes out of state, what it's actually called is caping out the deer. You have to take the skin completely off the head and clean the skull plate. For whenever you take it across state lines so that you can actually save room, get rid of the bone. In some states, it's actually a law to transport across state lines and that's due to CWD, chronic wasting disease. So today we're here with Mr. John to do it the correct way. All right, Mr. John, go ahead and tell us what's the first step when we're looking at this, this animal. So the first step you're gonna do is we're gonna cut a, a, a Y cut back here, which is gonna go from the burr to the center of the base of the skull here, from each side, and then come down the neck, maybe five, six inches at most. We'll start off there and we'll, we'll cape out and go along the ears. You always keep your knife against the bone. And constantly pull, I'll show you, I'll pull with my left hand and I'm cutting with my right constantly. Mr. John, does it matter how much meat stays on the hide? It does, does that affect the... it, it doesn't matter for the taxidermist and uh, it, it, what it is is once you're gonna if you put it in a freezer at some point that meat's gonna take a good while for it to defrost. So it's better with as little meat as possible. Yes. But if you're nervous and you don't want to punch a hole in your hide, go ahead and uh, go ahead and leave the meat on it. When questioned, yeah, just leave the meat <laughs> leave some meat on. Okay, we'll cut the other side, cut through the ear butt and in. I'm pulling with my left as I'm cutting with my right. Cut through the ear canal. Just once you get through the ear canal, just be careful because there's not much left there between the skin and the meat. Alright. What we can do is take a little bit of borax, put it on here so where we can grab it. Take our screwdriver, and you get against the base of that, that horn right there, underneath that burr. And it peels away from the horn. You can either do this, or you can do it with the, with the knife. Either way is fine. This way there's no chance in cutting the hair and you don't have a ball spot on your beautiful trophy. It's extremely important you take good care of your cape because good capes are very hard to come by. You can buy them. We do, we do occasionally buy some off the internet, but you're looking anywhere from two to 300 uh, if it's an extremely large cape up to $400, just for a cape. As I'm cutting, I'm constantly pulling with my left hand. So, you know, we're getting close to this eyeball right here. What I'll do is I'll stick my finger in that eyeball and then I grab with my thumb where I can pull it. Now, most people, you're not gonna cut your finger. So you, you stick your finger in there and you can feel when that blade gets close. My finger right there, moving in there. Keep that blade against that bone. Pull with this hand, with your left hand. Pull with your left hand and cut with the right. That way you don't cut your eyelid off. Because if you cut the eyelid off, that's, you're gonna have to put him a patch. His eye gland is that. You wanna keep that blade cut inwards towards the skull there. See, I released it. And that gland, that tear duct right here, is right there. So you want to dig, it goes into the skull. You have to, so you just 
Keep rubbing the bone with your scalpel or your knife, whichever you choose. This is the back of the eye, the, the eye orbit right here. You want to cut in towards the head. That way you don't cut any skin. That way you constantly have a little tension on that skin. And there's the back of the jaw right here. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over and do the mouth and the nose. Okay guys, we're going to start right here on the, on the face of the deer, but on the mouth and the nose, the bottom jaw. As you can see, there's plenty of skin in here. What you want to do is start cutting along that bottom jawline, but stay against the jawbone itself. This is the jawbone, comes up to the teeth here. And just like before, just rub your knife or your scalpel against there. Here's his bottom lip. Just cut right against his lip, because we use this skin to tuck it back in whenever we're mounting it. Around. Pull with one hand and cut with the other, just try to stay against that bone. There's the inside of his nostrils. Kind of cut up at a 45 towards the top of his the bridge of his nose. We detach the top of the, uh, the, the skin from the top of the skull. All we have left is the bottom. Again, grab and pull. And guys, anybody can do this. I have a, my, my youngest son is 11 years old when he started doing this for me. And he does it in, in 13 minutes from start to finish. And like I said, anybody can do this. Just take your time with it. Have a nice, nice, beautiful cape to be mounted. To finish off your, your, your skull, get your skull off of your head, uh, your horns off of your skull. Just cut a line here right behind the eye sockets up to, to just below the eye socket. You can stop about even with the, the bottom of the eye socket. And you flip it over. You cut an angle down towards your first cut. You just cut here, straight down towards your first cut. When you meet the other cut, this thing will pop right off. All right, guys, that's the full, complete info on how to cape out a trophy deer. The host of Team Voodoo Television here with Mr. John at Basin Taxidermy. Y'all go ahead and follow us. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. We'll see y'all next time.